This video is probably a wee bit behind time for people who were on my last Belfast uh, workshop on printing, uh, printing and uh, Photoshop workshop. Um, I did promise to do a video on my printer settings, uh, so having promised today to do one for Malahide Camera Club as well, uh, I uh, will now strike while the, uh, the iron's hot. Um, so here we have a colour file and um, if I'm going to print it, uh, go into File and Print and uh, I pick my paper size first, normally for me it's an A3 so we've got an A3 uh, paper size and uh, I would normally be printing um, about 36 centimeters on the long side. Um, now this is a big file, it was taken with a Pentax medium format digital camera um, so at 36 centimeters high, it's printing at a resolution of 518 pixels per inch. As long as you have at least 180 pixels per inch in there, you will get a quality print. Um, by and large, people say, oh, you need 300. Um, some purists say you need exactly 360. Um, but trust me, I have tried it. Um, and Jerry Coe from Banger, uh, a triple fellow, um, was the first one to put me onto this 180 uh, PPI setting. As long as you've got at least 180 in there, don't worry about uh, lack of quality. So um, I've set my long side to 36 centimeters. I have centered it in the paper. And because this is a color file, I make Photoshop manage colors. Your options are either Photoshop or printer. So it is Photoshop manages color. And um, you then pick the paper profile. Now I have one, if I'm printing this on luster paper, I have a profile made with the um, X-Rite Color Monkey um, for my luster paper. So I choose that. If you had downloaded from Photospeed website, um, there. Um, uh, PF Luster um, profile, there it is there, you can um, uh, use that one but you, obviously you get better results with a, uh, a purpose made profile. Photospeed will do you uh, a free custom profile if you send off uh, an image to them um, they will come back to you immediately with a, a, a custom profile. So uh, I make sure that black point compensation is ticked and I also make sure that rendering intent is set to relative color metric. And then I go into printer settings and down to print printer settings uh, in this new menu. Here um, I basically tell it what type of paper. So if it's going to be luster paper, I choose the uh, luster paper menu. I make sure that it is 16 bit output. And um, you have your choice between super photo. Um, where the printer will put down 1440 dots per inch or Superphoto 2880 where it will put down twice as many dots per inch. Um, I think you would need to go on the print with a magnetic or with a uh, magnification loop um, to see any real difference. At normal viewing distance um, you will not see any appreciable difference to it. So um, high speed just simply means whether the printer puts down ink on both passes forward and backwards. If you click off high speed it will only put down ink on one pass. It will then come back and do another pass. Um, so I would then just click save and print um, and the image will now print uh, exactly as it shows on the screen because uh, I've got a fully calibrated system. So I'll just cancel out of there. Now things change quite dramatically if you're printing a mono file. Um, I can only teach you my method of printing and I know that some other people use the colour inks to print their black and white images. I don't. Um, I know one person who does it and um, he is, as I say, he has got the medals to prove that his method is right um, and I have got more medals to prove that my method uh, is right as well. Um, so this is only how I do it. Um, so it would be file print and instead of Photoshop manages colors this time it is printer manages colors. If we set the long side to 36 
Um, it's centered on an A3 piece of paper and um, this is well, the first thing you must do when you go into the actual Epson menu here is um, go into color matching and make sure by default it will be color sync you need to change that to Epson color controls when you do that it allows you to come into printer settings and choose advanced black and white photo um, if I had left that in color sync and then come down to printer settings the option to go into advanced black and white has gone all I can do is print it with the color inks AccuPhoto HD2 um, so that menu is grayed out so what I need to do is go up to color matching turn on Epson color controls back into printer settings and now I have the option to pick advanced black and white you then go into advanced color settings and uh, by default um, it will be darker chosen in here you have the option of light normal dark darker and darkest this is quite a dark print so for this particular image you can see how dark it is I would normally go for either darker or darkest um, have a go see what difference print the same image one with darker and one with darkest see what difference you can uh, uh, perceive and decide which uh, you think is best and store that in your memory for going forward um, so I'll go with darker color toning I normally go warm and that applies 420 don't go sepia because sepia moves right away up to there and the color is actually orange uh, on this almost so just give your blacks a slight warming um, so now it is the printer that is applying the tone um, if you were using color inks then you would need to apply the tone to your image in Photoshop and then rely on the color inks to reproduce that tone exactly as you see it but I'm now telling the printer to add the tone and that is how for instance you get a panel of 10 or 15 or 20 images in black and white that have the same tone to it so um, you then need to tell it the uh, the paper so if I was printing this on a burrito paper there is a burrito uh, option um, the semi gloss I have found works well for burrito as well um, if you're using the fantastic new paper by Photospeed called the um, uh, art fiber gloss then you're going to use the uh, fiber paper um, so I'm going to go with uh, burrito for this image so click on uh, burrito and everything else is good and save and then print it out um, last one a slightly different uh, black and white image this one of Fred I um, file print the only difference I would make with this one again it would be um, in print settings color matching set to Epson color controls and when I come down here um, this image would suit um, a, a textured uh, fine art paper so I would instead of choosing photo paper or the, the glossy options I would come down to matte paper and choose enhanced matte paper um, and that will change the black ink to um, from photo black to matte black um, and in advanced color settings you can see the last time I printed this I saved the settings rather than printing in darker or dark I printed this in light because it is a slightly high key image and I applied the same uh, warm tone of 420 and uh, save and print so those are the settings remember um, color image Photoshop manages color black and white image printer manages colors